good morning reception. This video is for mine and Mrs. Robinson's phonics group and Miss Sani's phonics group. Before you begin, you will need a pen and paper or pencil and paper, or if you have a whiteboard and whiteboard pen at home, you can use that as well. Um, there will be opportunities for you to join in, so please do. And if you need to pause the video or rewind it for any reason, then you can do that as well. OK, we're going to begin by recapping the phase two phonemes that we've already learnt. S, A, T, P, E, N, N, D. G, O, K, 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 E, A, R, Okay, the speed sounds I'd like you to write today are n, n, and the next one, g, g, and the next one, k, k, curl around the caterpillar one, and the next one, e. Eh, Next one, t, t, and the last one, er, er. Good, well done. Okay, now we're going to go through the tricky words in phase two that we've already learnt. The, go, into, no. To, I, and, is, in. Okay, I'd like you to write the tricky words. I, I. Pause me in between if you need to. And the next word I'd like you to write is two, two. And the next word I'd like you to write is, is. And the last word you're going to write, and, and. Our tricky word of the day is two, two. Can you think of a sentence with the word two in it? Pause me for a minute while you have a think of a sentence. My sentence I thought of is, I'm going to bed. I like to shop. What was your sentence? Well done. Now remember our phoneme that we're learning is the phoneme f. Remember it can be a short f or a long f that we find at the end of words. When we write it as a grapheme, Remember, it's a descender, so it goes down to the bottom red line. And the rhyme, when we write f, is down the stem and draw the leaves. Have a go at writing it. So when we write our f, we start at the top blue line. And we go down the stem to the bottom red line. And then we draw the leaves. And again, down the stem to the bottom red line, draw the leaves. One more time, down the stem to the bottom red line and draw the leaves. Our descending f. Well done. Okay, so now we're going to move on to some segmenting where we say the word and we break it down to find the phonemes in that word so that we can write it. So the first word we're going to segment is the word fog. Fog. Pause me while you try to segment the word fog. 
Okay, are we ready? Let's do it together. So the first sound we can hear is th, and the next sound o, and the last sound g, f, og, f, og, fog. Well done. Okay, we found the phonemes in fog. Now we're going to write them as graphemes so that we can write the word fog. So we start with our f sound. So down the stem, draw the leaves, and we do all around the orange, and then g around the girl's face, down her long hair, and give her a curl. Well done. Okay, and the next word we're going to segment is the word cuff. Cuff. I have a cuff on my shirt. Cuff. What sounds do we need in cuff? Pause me while you segment the word to find the phonemes. Okay, are we ready? So our first phoneme is k, k, a, f. It's a long f. K, a, f. K, a, f. Cuff. Well done. Okay, so now we're going to write it. We're going to write them as graphemes. So we started with our k. That's a curly k. So curl down the caterpillar. A. Uh, down and under, up to the top and draw the puddle. And we have our diagraph. It's a long f at the end. So it's down the stem, draw the leaf. Down the stem, draw the leaf. Well done, guys. Okay, and the last word we're going to segment is the word fun. I like to have fun. Fun. Singing is fun. Playing is fun. Fun. Pause me while you segment the word fun to find the phonemes that we need for fun. Okay, let's do it together. So our first phoneme we can hear is f. And the next one, a. Uh, and the last one, N, f, a, n, fun. Well done. Okay, let's write it together. So we know our first grapheme we need to write is f. We write it as a grapheme down the stem and draw the leaf. And then down and under, up to the top and draw the puddle for a. Uh, and we finish with n, down noddy over his net. Fun. Well done. Okay, the sentence we're going to write today is to huff and puff. How many words are in that sentence? To huff and puff. Remember that sentence? To huff and puff. There are four words in that sentence. To huff and puff. Think about which ones are tricky words and which ones you need to sound. Okay, so now we're going to write our sentence. Our first word was a tricky word, so it's the word two. It's our tricky word of the day. We're down the tower and across the tower, all around the orange, two. And our next word, huff, starts with a sound, doesn't it? Down the horse's head to his hooves and over his body. Uh, down and under, up to the top, draw the puddle. Diagraph, it's a long sound. So down the stem, draw the leaves, down the stem, draw the leaves. Oh, we're going to rub it out. We're going to start again. So we're going to write again word two. If you've done it all right the first time, you're fine. You don't need to do it again. So to huff. Remember our descending f. It's a long sound f on huff. And then we use a finger space. And we do our tricky word and around the apple down the leaf down noddy over his net around the dinosaur's bottom up his tall neck and down to his toes and then finger space and our next word is puff so down the pirate's plait and around the pirate's face down and under up to the top and draw the puddle and then again we've got a diagraph so down the stem draw the leaves down the stem draw the leaves and then if we're remembering our sentence rules, we finish with a full stop. Well done, guys. Great day.